The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my god, Mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, Mother... Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis... Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? Remember Alazif? I was sure. Where's the book, Mother? So that's what you want. Well, you will never find it. Emily died for that. What's got into her? You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are. What was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind logical and open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather. Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borchert. My god, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No! I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance. So I took the- No! 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 It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that! Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Mother, I don't know what you're imagining, but don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louis! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Very well. Logical and open, Louis. 
Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Do you want to tell me about your relationship with Elizabeth Adams? Louis, I don't know what you found out, but just know that I did everything I could to help her. I'm sure you did, Mother. I'm not judging you. You know, what she had to put up with was slowly gnawing away at her. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. You will attend this conference, and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. Mortimer, Holm, their guests, watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but- Louis! They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, Mother, I'm going, I'm going. One more thing, Mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and- It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Thank you.
I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. I have suspected this for some time, but now I am convinced. I have already told her so once, by your desire. Are you quite mistaken, sir? Yes, because she asked him at last, and he could not help. I believe he did. Amber crystals. But I hardly know more. Well, clearly they cannot be too opinionated on that one. I thought they were not as you represent it. But with respect to any other of these characters, I can imagine as much as being unfolded. By all that I have ever read, I'm convinced that it is very common indeed. No, certainly there's a lot of remarkable remarks. She's not a your conjecture is totally wrong, I assure you. I have suspected it for some time. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. By your desire. Are you quite sure, sir? Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Yes, because she asked him at last, and he could not help answering her, but she said he seemed quite angry at being spoken to. But it is not sound, you know. It is not sound. Your conjecture is totally wrong, I assure you. I have suspected it for some time, but now I am convinced. I have already told her so. Liar. Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Yes, because she has That does seem as if. Well, clearly, they cannot be not a person. But with respect to any other lady characteristic, I do not imagine that much has been unfolded. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, Two democracies illuminating the world. But why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. 
Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We will have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. His project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I de Richet. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France. Namely, all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union. And yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. 
They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet, that does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. France is not without fault, but that doesn't take away Spain's responsibilities. You see, Native Americans are being subjected to a veritable ethnic cleansing. Europeans are colonizing their land so that it then belongs to them. The widespread evangelization of its inhabitants will soon eradicate a multitude of cultures. You've done the same thing in South America. How far will white people go? Reservations to pin them in like cattle? Total genocide? Come now, my friends, let us not digress. Anyway, these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see, colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? We are neighbors, Duke Manuel. Remember, your main rival in Europe is more likely to be England, who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to France and make her a prime ally. Come, Louis. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, the omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Your Eminence, have no fear over that. I am sure France will do everything in its power to protect the Christians of Louisiana. My young friend, how can you come out with such a remark after the discussion we had on the evening of your arrival? If France was so respectful of worship, it would not be bleeding priests as it is doing at this very moment in time. <sighs> Don't be naive. This is politics. The Holy See must be concerned at seeing such a large territory falling into the hands of the French. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher ein, Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. 
Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No. Let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? I know about his plan. What did you just say, Louis? His aim is for the United States to take the whole of the North American continent. But that is impossible! A democratic superpower. I don't understand. That has nothing to do with the coming vote. You will ask for France to take over Louisiana, and then hand it over to the United States, and so double the size of their territory. Once that's done, he will just need to push a bit more, and you will lose North America, Duke Manuel. God's blood! Has he gone mad? No, Johan. He has always been mad. <sighs> Louis, I would like to thank you for what you've just revealed. If not for you, I don't know if we'd have been capable of deciphering his plans quickly enough to be able to counter him. What are we going to do now that we know about it? Destroy him. No! We'll beat him at his own game, my friends. His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, Whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for signing me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me come to Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. Needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, 
I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Sir Johann von Wulner. Hey, Peru's name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Leave me, Derisse. I don't feel like talking. Are you gonna keep sticking to me like glue? Hell's bells, I don't deserve this. There's nothing you can do for me. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Not anymore, you can't. Not against him. But thanks for the offer. Who are you talking about? You know very well. Lord Mortimer? You talk as if you were in danger, monsieur. Has he threatened you in any way? I'm done for, Monsieur de Richet. I played with the devil, and I lost. Don't you think it would be good for you to shed your burden? That is my intention. You're worried. You have a secret. You're afraid of talking about it. You're protecting someone who is dear to you, and apparently you're prepared to die for that person. Twice over. Are you afraid for your daughter? What are you? Be careful, Derise. Be very careful what you're about to say if you don't want to go flying off the balcony! What do you know about her? Nothing apart from the fact that you love her and you're saying goodbye to her. I read your letter on your desk. I... I ought to get rid of you. Perhaps I can help you. The hero syndrome. You always think you can fix things. She will be safer far away from me. That's it. What's more, no one must find out where or who she is. Is that clear? Perfectly. But why say goodbye to her? She must still need you. The only thing she needs is for him never to find her. Time is short, Louis. Follow my advice. Find your mother if she's still alive, and get out of here. Flee this damned island of doom. Are we in danger? You've been in danger since the minute you set foot on this rock. He wants you. He's sizing you up. He is circling around you. It's blindingly obvious. And you, flattered as you are, will soon be running around for him just to keep your place among his precious few. It feels so good to be accepted by him. You will experience power, wealth, glory. He will give it all to you until one day 
you will feel so eaten up inside that you will no longer know who you are. You will find yourself void of all conscience, of all freedom. You can no longer look at yourself in the mirror without feeling sick. Refuse, I tell you. From now on, say no. No! Look, I'm sorry about what happened on the night you arrived. You're a good man, Louis. You look after yourself. As for me, I shall take back my freedom tomorrow morning. I'm through with it all. There you go. Back in the saddle. I'm glad to hear it. Come on. It's late. I'd like to get some rest. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Beaucaire dinner. It hasn't been signed yet, but there's a letter with it. So, Bonaparte is going to publish a book that he didn't write. That crafty little rascal. It isn't signed. That's some quality paper. And that handwriting. I'd say it's Mortimer's. Bazant. Manuel Godoy. A painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume, and it's written in Spanish. Godoy, you really are a little devil. So, let's see what it says. Seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking. It's like shooting without taking aim. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Amber. me.
Amber. President's personal reserve of laudanum, and judging by the quantity, he can't go without it. Ah, there's also a letter. My room. Uh, as I walked by your room, I, I noticed the door was open. I wanted to check that no one had gone in. Hmm. And what is the outcome of your investigation, Inspector de Richer? Go ahead. Laugh it off. I, I didn't see anyone, Mr. President. Splendid. All is safe and sound. Well, since you're here... Can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's... Nothing for you to feel bad about. So, what can I do for you? President Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours, especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis. I know. The coalition against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's all a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I've made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of oh, that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, 
That's what... He never commits his own fortune, let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. All buddies invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. You are a man of conviction, Mr. President. You would never make a choice that could cost the American people very dearly. If Mortimer falls, he will bring the United States down with him. Haven't the American people suffered enough? I would never do anything that would put my people in danger. Exactly. Therefore, choose your allies wisely, sir. I must admit, your arguments do make sense, Louis. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance, because I didn't think it could happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. Only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? I've seen her, Emily. What? When was that? A little earlier, just before the conference. She was hiding. And did you manage to speak to her? She's not the same. I, I don't know what's been happening to her, but she's changed. I found her in a deplorable state with, with one of her hands cut off. I mean, she was saying crazy things, bordering on delirium. What? Did you say one of her hands was cut off? What happened to her? I don't know. She, she wouldn't say. And did she tell you why she... why... why she shot Emma? No. Unfortunately, we were unable to broach the subject. She seemed terribly upset, Emily. There's something strange going on here. She was fearful of something or someone. Excuse me, Louis, but until we see proof of the contrary, she's the one who is sowing death everywhere she goes. We are the ones who ought to be fearful. I know. I know. No, I apologize for that remark. Who do you think she's hiding from? Mortimer? I don't know. Maybe. Louis, I don't want to pile it on, but I would understand her feelings there. You ought to be wary of Mortimer. He's a manipulator, a liar, a coward who doesn't assume his responsibilities at all. What exactly happened between you two, Emily? You're so radically against him. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis.
My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Duke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project, despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well... That leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. 
Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, a real. Let's end the charade. It's over! Jacques. My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Wait! Derice, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things! You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jacques. You'll have all the time you need. I'm sure we can work things out. But you don't know him. Let's stay united, Jack. He's nothing without us. Mm, really? Trust me. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward. So give me your weapon, please. But I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry, you're safe now, Jack. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs>